The filtering message feature in Outlook will display only messages that meet certain conditions that you apply to a specific folder. For example, I'm in the Send Items folder, and I want to be able to filter in only those messages that meet certain conditions, and to apply those conditions, go ahead and come up here and click on the View menu, go down to Arrange, and then over and down and click on Custom. There it is right there. Currently, the filtering option is turned off. Go ahead and click on it for this folder and then fill in the criteria of the messages that you would like to filter in and display within the folder here. The first criteria is going to be who I sent it to. I'm going to say it was sent to Carrie and click OK. So if I just clicked OK, the filter option would be applied and all the messages that I addressed and sent to Carrie would be displayed. Anything else I sent to anybody else would be filtered out. They wouldn't be available here. They wouldn't be deleted, they just would be more or less hiding until I actually cleared the filter, which I'll show you how to do in just a minute. But if I have more than one criteria, for example, let's go to the Advanced tab and say, in addition to displaying only those emails that I sent to Carrie, let's click on the uh, Field drop-down arrow to define more criteria, and let's go down to the Address Fields and let's choose Carbon Copy. I know I sent an email to Carrie, and I also carbon copied somebody else as well, and I just wanted to display those messages here. Now when it comes to the value, if you're connected to a Microsoft Exchange server, you can type in the actual person's name, as long as they're listed in your global address list. If not, then just go ahead and type in the email address of the person, like xp at... And then I'm going to go ahead and click Add to List. So it, it has to also include this item as part of the criteria, in addition to, again on the Messages tab, Carrie Heffernan. So if it's sent to Carrie Heffernan, and also in the same message, it was carbon copied to XP at Dreamforce when I click OK, and click OK, give it a second or two while it filters. And it was just one email. Let's see if it worked. Double click on that email. There it is. Any time I sent an email to Carrie Heffernan as the first criteria, and the second, that was carbon copied to XP at Dreamforce.us. Cool, it works. Let me close out of here. Now if I go to another folder, and I come back to the sent items folder, the filter is still on. It doesn't clear out for me. And this is important because if, if you're receiving other messages within this folder, they're going to be filtered out. And you may think, oh, I guess I didn't uh, send off the emails. Let me try sending another one. You can see how tricky that might be. So be sure that when you're done with the filter, or if you're not done with it, write yourself a little note to be sure to turn it off. Or that you're aware, for example, by looking up here on the title bar, over to the right it says a filter has been applied. So don't panic if you don't find something in one of your message folders. Before you start doing anything else, make sure that, again, the filter's not applied. To unapply it, again, go to your View menu, down to Arrange By, and over and down to Custom. Or you can right-click in a blank area and go down to Filter. And then come down here and click on the Clear All button. Click OK, and everything that was hidden by the filter is now displayed. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.